Now at 11, a family is desperate tonight as a man remains missing and his boat found empty and floating at sea. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Woody Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. Time is quickly running out as the Coast Guard plans to pick up their search in the morning. Our Chris Trankman joins us live tonight in Bramson with an update. Chris? boat was found several miles from his home, suggesting that it got caught in the tide and was taken out to sea. Take a look at where they found his vessel. The 16-foot craft was found west of the Skyway, southwest of Fort DeSoto Park, near Egmont Key, a wildlife refuge, and there's speculation that he may have fallen off that boat long before they found it. Me and my grandfather, we uh, jumped in the airboat and Try to help out as much as we could. Nicholas Routh says when word got out that his neighbor, Patrick Mullins, had disappeared, he spent more than six hours searching the narrow and shallow waterways where Mullins was known to take his boat. It's hard to find the guy, especially within the dark waters we have and everything here. So The 16-foot stump knocker was found far from the shallow inlets in the open water near Egmont Key at the mouth of Tampa Bay. The engine still worked. An emergency whistle was untouched and his hat was still in the boat. Mullins was an experienced boater, and his friends fear he may have had a medical issue while he was out alone. For Routh, he knew the family well. I went to school with both of his kids and grew up with them, so he helped us out with a couple of things that we had going on here one, at one time, and then uh, it's pretty tough. Rescue crews will continue searching, even though the danger of hypothermia makes survival chances slim. Routh had two other friends disappear on boating trips. There's a lot of things that can kill you, especially in a boat. So you've seen this before? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, we've had a couple of very good friends of ours have passed away the same way. Now, Mullins was out on the water, and his family told me tonight that if anybody happened to be out on the water as well to help them out, call the Manatee County Sheriff's Office. We're live in Bradenton. Chris Trankman, ABC Action News.